Hey guys, and welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an animated GIF or GIF, whatever you prefer to call it, within Photoshop. So as you see here, I got Superman flying to the top left of the screen and then descending down to the bottom left. So I'm going to be showing you how to create this GIF or GIF. Again, I'm going to call it GIF. You can call it whatever you want uh, in Photoshop. So here I am in Photoshop CC, the newest version of Photoshop in 2015. And uh, here is the finished product, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. It really doesn't matter what size you're going to use. You can even drag the image in from the image source if you'd like and just make it whatever size the image is. But you do want a canvas to play with uh, so that way you can have motion uh, and have enough room to do whatever you want the image to do once you begin to animate it. So we're going to call this GIF final. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and open up a new project. Now, the first thing you want to do is obviously import in your image. So in the case of this image here, I'm going to go ahead and go to file and then place embedded. Or again, like I said, you can just drag that image over. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is select the image of the Superman that I had showed you in the previous version there. All right, now once I have the image imported into Photoshop, the first thing I'm going to want to do obviously is resize the image. So if I hold down the shift key and then drag left or right, it can uh, proportionately resize my image without making it look all skewed and uh, the size messed up. So I, once I get the size the way that I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the check mark here. Next, what we're going to do is unlock the layer. So in order to do that, go ahead and go over here where the layer is, the background layer, where you see the lock, double click on that, and then it'll come up and it'll say, are you sure you want to do that? Hit OK. You can even name the layer if you want, and then you're good to go. Next, we want to go up and grab our magic wand tool right here uh, in the upper left hand side of our toolbar, and then select the white area there. And then once we've done that, hit the backspace or delete key. Now, this is going to remove the background for that initial layer. Now, in order to deselect, you can just hit command or control D depending on if you're using a Windows or a Mac and then once you've done that you can then go here and select the Superman or whatever image you're using and drag him around freely onto the canvas uh, that way you can start him wherever you want to start him so I'm going to go ahead and start him in the lower left or the lower right hand side of the screen just like I showed you earlier in the finished gif and then what we're going to do is we're going to want to go up to window and then under window go to timeline it should have a check by it if it does you're going to see this little thing here at the bottom of your screen it's going to say create video timeline or create frame animation what we want to do is create a frame animation so select the drop down click create frame animation and then click that button one more time and then you should see frame one available to you over here on the left now what we want to do next is create a new layer and we want to color that layer white. So go ahead and create a new layer over here in your timeline. It doesn't matter what you name it. It really doesn't matter. And then what we're going to do is just select that layer there uh, and then we're going to color that layer white. So if we go over here, select a color and then as you see the color box here, go ahead and make it white. And then what we'll do is we will go up here uh, to our paint bucket tool, uh, wherever that is right here. And then with the paint bucket tool, we will uh, select a white white color. So go ahead and color it white. And then there is your white layer there. Go ahead and drag that layer below your image layer. So now your image is on top of a nice fresh white layer. Don't drag the layer like I did. Select the layer of your image and there you go. Now you can move him around freely on that white layer. All right, so we have our layer fixed up and we have our timeline on the bottom with frame number one down there in the lower left-hand corner of our screen. Now what we wanna do is we wanna create a new frame down here in our timeline. In order to, to do that, click on the new frame button right here beside the trash can and then you'll have two layers. So what you wanna do now is with the second layer selected, you wanna grab your move tool in Photoshop and go ahead and move your image wherever you want the image to finish within the first motion. So whatever the motion you want to, to finish at, that's where you want your image to be residing at. So once we've done that, we wanna go ahead and select the first frame here and then hit Command or Control and then click on the second frame. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use this button here. It's called a tweening tool. Okay, it looks like some fireballs blasting down below there. Click on that and then you'll see the tween options come available to you. As you see here, you can add as many frames as you want. Now the more frames you add, the slower the animation will be. The less frames that you add, the quicker the animation will be. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do, let's do 14 just for fun, and then click OK. 
Now, once we do that, you're going to see 14 layers, I mean, sorry, 14 frames that have come in between your first and last uh, frames, as we have already discussed. And then what you can do is you can hit the little play button here, and it'll show you a little preview of what that looks like. So the next thing you want to do is if you want to move him again, is go ahead and select the last layer once again, which is our 16th layer, and then go ahead and create a new layer. So go ahead and create that new layer. And then with that next layer selected, I'm calling them layers. They're called frames. I don't know why I'm calling them layers. I apologize. So anyways, once you have that last frame selected, you will go ahead and drag the image down to wherever you want him to finish. And then once you've done that, go ahead and select the 16th and 17th frames once more, command and control, and then click. And then once you've done that, we're going to use our tweening tool once more, and then go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and change that half that and make it seven and then click OK. Now, as you can see, we have some more frames come into play. Select the first frame if you want to play it from the beginning and then go ahead and click on the play button and there he is to the top left and there he goes to the bottom left. So this is our animation. And again, you can do much more. You can add explosions. You can do all kinds of stuff. There's really a lot of uses uh, for you creating an animated GIF uh, in Photoshop. You can do this numerous ways. You can do it uh, online with online tools, but it's pretty cool that you can do it in Photoshop and you can actually adjust some settings that can make it a little more in depth than say if you use an online tool. All right. So once we've got it done, how do we export it as a GIF? That way it'll show online when we link to it and someone can see the GIF that we've created. So what you're going to want to do is go up to file and then go down to save for web. So not save, not save as, save for web. And then once you do that, you're going to see the save for web box come available to you over here. Now, what we want to do First off is go up to preset and you want to change the preset to GIF 64, no D-I-T-H-E-R. The word is dither. Um, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, so I'm not going to say it again. Uh, but you want to select this one here, GIF 64. Now you can do GIF 128 uh, to add a little more fidelity to it, but we'll go ahead and do the GIF 64. So go ahead and do that now. And then once you've done that, the last thing that you need to decide on is do you want the the animation to loop forever endlessly or do you want it to loop just once or you can select other and then you can make it loop a certain amount of times. So just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and make it loop forever. And then once we have done that, we'll go ahead and click the blue save button there at the bottom of the screen. And then we're going to save it as GIF dash final dot GIF and then we'll save it on the desktop. And then once we do that, we'll go ahead and click save. Now that we've done that, it'll take a few seconds to save depending on the power of your computer. And then what we're going to do is we're going to minimize Photoshop now and we are going to open up a web browser of your choice. It really does not matter. Open up a new tab and then what we're going to do is resize this browser window just slightly and then what we're going to do is we're going to open up our finder wherever it is located. So here it is, gifffinal.gif. Click and hold, drag it on over to your web browser and what do you know? there is the animation that we just created within Photoshop. And again, this is just a beginner tutorial. You can do way, way more with the tools there uh, in Photoshop with that timeline tool uh, and create some really cool animation. So if you've created some, put the links down below in the comment section. I would love to see them. Uh, if you have any questions on this, as always, put them in the comments and I will get to those as soon as possible. This was just a fun tutorial. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and slap that like button down below as that does help me out. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe for more great content just like this here. And as always, guys, thank you so, so much for watching my videos. It does mean a lot to me, and I will see you guys in the next one.